Now before I jump into this, please go watch the original video, I'll have a link in the description down below. And also please go subscribe to Bulgarian Country Ball, his videos are amazing. I haven't been able to cover them too much because his videos tend to be longer until now. So this is going to be the entire modern history of Russia, or over the last like 120 years. So we're immediately jumping into the uh, Russo-Japanese War, so Russia is going to be pretty embarrassed starting off here. Uh, and it's actually going to be a big thing for Imperial Japan, a big dub. They're going to move all the way through the Korean Peninsula and get a lot of Manchuria. And then they split that island. Russia's got to get out of it. And just when Russia thinks that they're in the clear, World War I is about to pop up. So the petition. And uh, they're going to go. This is still when Russia's a monarchy. But we're obviously we're going to deal with the entire 69 years of... Soviet history, which is going to be chaotic, down the Tsar. So it's already beginning. This definitely did not help Nikolai at all. So here it comes. It's October. There's already a revolution taking place. I love how immediate this is. And here we go. World War I. This man is rolling on in there. And the Serbian ball is going to take him out. Archduke is gone. And World War I begins. So Russia's like, no, don't mess with our boy, uh... Uh, Serbia and sorry I, I blanked right there for a second also notice how France man I love how this just immediately jumps into it so they got off to a good start in Austria-Hungary now they're gonna fight Germany and things are gonna get messy especially when all the chaos takes place back at home so they're fighting in the trenches because this is World War One and there's probably gonna be some spicy wind reference I'm going to assume I have not watched this video yet but I'm assuming there's gonna be a spicy wind reference in WWE, so they're gonna have to start to retreat here. They're gonna go back, and they're gonna use their cold tactics. Although it's not gonna work this time. It's not gonna quite work. Uh, is that Turkey? Was that the Ottomans moving? Yeah. So here come the Ottomans, probably in the Black Sea. They are going to fire upon. Yep, we're, they're gonna fire upon the uh, Mediterranean, or sorry, the Black Sea coastal cities. To be fighting in the Caucasus Mountain region. Which is something, oh yeah, and they're going to get pushed. This is a very interesting part of World War One that I don't pay attention enough. That fighting there, Germany is moving right to left, which is a little bit confusing to me. Because I'm like, wouldn't they be moving? <laughs> like my directions are all messed up. Okay, so there it is. And so it's time. Yeah. That's the spicy wind stuff that I was I was talking about. Uh, don't, don't do it. Don't, they don't see it. Yep. Did they, oh, did it eliminate the trenches too? It looked like it somehow magically uh, got rid of the trenches. And is that fog or is that just all the... No, that's that's not fog. Okay, I just want to make sure. Man, clearly I wouldn't make it because I'd be like, Is this fog? Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Oh, this guy... Oh, wait, I think I've heard of this story before. I didn't know he was Russian, though. I have heard story... Oh, okay, it's not one specific person. It's not just one ball. Yeah, that's pretty scary. The animation's beautiful. So there's going to be a new front drawn. They're going to move through Austria-Hungary. This was a way more... I mean, obviously there was a lot more movement on the Eastern Front in WW1. There was just kind of... They were just kind of stuck fighting over three yards in the Western Front in, in France. Are they running out of supplies? Is that it? My Cyrillic, believe it or not, is not that great. And here we go. So there are some protests happening. Where is Lenin? Down with the Tsar. Bashing his pitcher in. It's probably not going to end well for him. Just got a uh, spoiler alert. Sorry, spoiler alert. I just realized I spoiled it earlier by announcing the... Oh, Russia's provisional government. Swiss ball. Who is this guy? Uh oh, oh, there we go. There's Lenin. Was was Lenin in in uh, Switzerland at this time? I guess he was. And he's like, I gotta go back home to Russia. Takes the train back. This is so good already. Again, I deal with like so many different big events on like a world stage, but I love taking the perspective of just one country, and you think about that big event from just this one place. So already, the communists are. Having a time. There's fighting back home. There's fighting in Europe. And Russia is beginning to break apart. To become the white ball. There's no flag. There goes Ukraine. I was just learning about the uh, Ukrainian revolution. There's Finland too. The 1917 Ukraine. We will help you, says the UK and France. 
Um, something tells me. I don't know. Oh, Ukraine. Okay. Ukraine, no. Ukraine, the Soviet. And they're going to come to some terms right here with Imperial Germany, at least for now. This is such a crazy time in Eastern Europe. I know everyone, I know that like World War II was as well, but so is World War I. I think all the memes focus on World War II, Eastern Europe, but World War I too. Look at all these new countries popping up. Obviously the Baltics have their freedom. Belarus as well. Briefly, briefly, for a time. So here come Russians. Wait, who are, the, who are these Russians? Who are they fighting? Oh, so there's still fighting going on. Man, the decline of balls. The not living balls is a uh, is an interesting. I love I love it because <laughs> I guess they just like roll right, and so Germany has to sign that. Germany just lost. They lost the Great War. Here we go. So they're gonna come back. The Soviets come back. Take Ukraine. Take Belarus. Take the Baltics too. Poland will be around though. Oh, here we go. Here's Poland. Yep, and Poland's gonna do that. Yes, this is what I was talking about. So Poland is gonna be around for now. And there's fighting, and that's right. So, this was in 19, uh, 19, 19, 1921, when Poland actually won their independence here. At least they were allowed to stay. At least they were allowed to stay. So, also, if you really look at it from this perspective, this is actually giving me a different notion. So, they took an L from Japan. They took an L from Germany, technically. Maybe you could throw Austria-Hungary and Ottomans in there, too. They take an L from Poland. And I guess, like... The Russian monarchy took an L. So there's a lot of L's. So here are the, U the USSR. There's Lenin. And very soon now, Stalin is going to pop up. No reference to Trotsky. I was wondering if they were going to do anything like that. The Industrial Output Index. Okay, so already Nono Germany's here. They're dividing up Czechoslovakia. Poland's trying to push away. <laughs> Why? <laughs> They're like sad. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so here we go. We have the uh, Molotov. Ribbentrop uh, Pact, the non-aggression pact between Nono Germany and the USSR. Spoiler alert, that's not going to last. Boom, they come in after Poland. They divide up Poland. Interesting. So maybe the Soviets had a bit of a grudge over Poland. When you put it like in this perspective, that's, that's something. Here comes Finland. So the Winter War, they're going to go after the Finns. So their demand to redraw, give us land. Yeah, Finland was not going to be okay with that. So again, so they did take, they, they took Poland. They, they won that. But now they're going to take another loss going into Finland, kind of. I mean, it's not going to be like an overwhelming victory. And there are going to be some really good snipers in Finland. One specific one. So they did take a chunk. Here they come after the Baltics. That's right. I think I said the Baltics... We're taken out earlier, but no. Yep. The three little buddies just went in. Gotta eat them up. Romania's gonna get a little chunk taken out of them. And Romania's just like, alright. And here we go. Germany is going to invade. Operation Barbarossa. This is when they gonna backstab them a little bit with the non-aggression pack's not gonna be a thing. Now talk about chaos in the Eastern Front. This is where. Things are really going to get nuts. They're capitulating cities. And they're going to push them way back. Here come the Finns again. And luckily, luckily, just wait for them to use their secret power, the weather. The weather is going to be key here. So they're probably approaching... I'm not sure what city that is, but Stalingrad's probably going to come up. All the tanks moving in. What about the T-34s? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, with the logs... The logs to get out of the swamps. Who needs like other equipment? Just use logs. Okay, so the USA and yeah, USA is going to sell them a bunch of arms. The whole Iran thing, which is an aspect of World War II that I always forget about. So this is when the winter begins, and this is when the tide is going to be shifting. It's not going to go quite as well, and now the front is going to start to change a little bit. So at this point. 
I've heard like right right here is when it was over for the for the Germans. I've heard many people say that it was over at, at this point as soon as the Soviets began to actually push back even just a little bit because so many other things were going wrong that they needed to kick out the Soviets and once the Soviets started pushing back it was like all right well you guys are done. That's what I've heard from certain people. So now they're gonna have to race all the way back to Berlin. I've always wondered how they had to organize. I can barely organize my divisions in Hoi 4. That must have been a mess in real life. You have to get like a big old map, all these little stick things, at least that's what I see in the movies. I wonder if you can buy those. Probably not original maps. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I think there are board games that do that, anyways. So there, are, there's the famous shot. I think that's a reference to that famous shot of FDR, Churchill, and Joseph Stalin all sitting in the chairs next to each other. It's 1943. Oh, this is when the big old tank war happened. I literally can't see that Iron Cross uh, without thinking of the... Oh, did they get rid of it? Sometimes the YouTube uh, full screen button. YouTube full screen button used to be the Iron Cross. <laughs> Which is really strange. And maybe it still is sometimes, depending on... I don't know. The OS or something. A little ambush going on. So they're back in Belarusian territory. Oh, are the... Are the Belarusians, like, revolting from the inside? So they move back into Ukraine. And now they are back into normal Soviet territory, and now they're gonna roll into Germany. And now we begin basically the beginning of the Cold War. So they're gone. Poland is back. And Poland is gonna have a nice new communist outlook. And they have made it to Berlin. It's actually crazy how close the Soviets got to Berlin before the arrest of the Western Allies. The Western Allies, like, boom! Shot in real fast. I mean, if you look at it from the global perspective. Because it looked like they were going to reach Berlin way before France, UK, USA. Okay, Skinny Mustache Man is gone. And Germany is going to be divided. Oh, there he's in the bunker. This is, this is an interesting take. <laughs> He didn't have the mustache. That country ball didn't have the mustache. And boom. Okay, so divided into four halves. Five? I think there is five, but it looks like a... I thought it mostly looked like four. Oh yeah, that's right. We have to deal with Japan. Man, I completely forgot about Japan this whole time. So Japan is out of it. Bonking them twice. And here is the new Cold War. Are we going to talk about, I'm guessing we're probably going to talk about NATO. Greece is going to roll in. Or Greece is actually going to split apart and have a little problem here. Yugoslavia also. Now I do not know what we're going to cover. The you know, Cold War is many decades. Okay, so there's the nuclear testing. Taiwan or Democratic China gets pushed back to Taiwan. USSR likes this. They like their new PRC buddy. And the Korean War is happening. Yeah, I'm so interested what events are they going to cover in the Cold War, because there's so many decades to cover. 38th Parallel. They have armed the North. And, alright, here comes the USA. It's funny how that works. This was an interesting, interesting one. They're going to come all the way back, and then, yeah, they're going to meet back in the middle. Stalin is no more. So it's like 1953, right, when Stalin was gone. They're going to change that city name. Oh, really? I actually didn't know that. Uh, we have some revolutions, I think, say, taking place, but they're just going to throw in the guards. Oh. Ooh. What, what do we do next? Is it Egypt? What is next? Oh, space race. There we go. Okay, okay. So the Soviets are going to get off to a fast start. Oh, the dog! I love the dog. Oh, no. Look, uh, look, how do you pronounce the name? I, I always forget how to pronounce her name. And now the U.S. is going to go, well, yeah, first man in space, first satellite in space, I guess first dog in space, right? <laughs> I love the East German ball just rolling around. Berlin Wall time, that's right. You got to build a wall around the Berlin city. They started doing that randomly, right, one time? Not randomly, but uh, I had heard that it was just like Western Berliners were just waking up and just being like, oh, they're building a wall. I guess, obviously, they wouldn't notify the Wests. 
Uh, we've got Cuba, Castro, gonna give him some rockets, and USA is not gonna like that. And this was gonna be really intense. World almost comes to an end right here. Yep, here it is. Here's here's the reference. Nuclear torpedo. Yep, one guy was like, no, don't do it. They figure out, hey, maybe we shouldn't destroy the world. Crazy to think that we and probably the vast majority of people that are watching this video just wouldn't even be here. I still had so much longer to go. Everything would have just been ended in the 60s. Okay, Vietnam, once again. USA controls, uh, supports the South. And the USSR supports the North. Vietnam is going to be very brutal. Yep, that's right. Check. The check stuff was... Was that... I thought that was 50s, but I guess it wasn't. Or are we starting... I mean, Vietnam started in the 50s, but... I'm surprised there was no reference to, like, the French. Boom, USA's out. And South Vietnam is going down. Communist Vietnam that's united. I wonder if that inspired North Korea to be like, Hey, maybe we should do something again. I'm surprised they didn't start acting up again. Once they saw that in Vietnam. Okay, so yeah, China and the Soviets were going to start to have problems. Yeah, there is going to be the big divide here. Differences, I guess. Did they get a, an island out of that? Okay, so Afghanistan was going to be the USSR's Vietnam, and that's what at least the USA wanted to try to make it. So Afghanistan did turn communist. And, uh... And there was going to be a lot of fighting in here for like, what, what was it? It was like a decade. It was for a long time. I forget how long it was. Restructuring. Openness. Democracy. I'm sure there's probably... I, I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be a reference to uh, Chernobyl, no? Uh, I actually don't know what's happening here. I saw Pakistan. And a lot of Eastern European balls... Not enjoying the Warsaw Pact. A oh, Warsaw Pact gone. Uh oh. Uh oh. You. Uh, it's all gone. It's slowly. Oh, they're gonna sing their freedom. The Baltics were gonna sing their way to freedom. And here goes Central Asia, but not Kazakhstan. Yeah. Ka oh, Kazakhstan. I like that they did that in the right order. U.S. USSR is no more. Russian Federation. Here they go. So it's 1991. There are a lot of balls. Ooh, look at the party going on here. So yeah, they have their own little pack going on. And now we're going to get closer to the modern day stuff. CSTO. Collective security. Yeah. So, I was learning about this. Yep, yeah, here goes Ukraine. There's an interesting thing that happens with Ukraine. Refrain from the use of nuclear. Ar yeah, so Ukraine's going to get back their nukes. Uh, there's gonna be fighting. I do not know what that ball is, to be honest. That's near Georgia. Okay. I know that was messy. So we are probably approaching the 2008. They're gonna invade Georgia here after this. I do not know enough about this event. How many balls have we lost today? There should be a, a casualty counter. Yeah, here goes Georgia. Boom, take a chunk out of that. Two chunks, to be specific. Out of Georgia. Yeah, a ball casualty counter. That's what we really need. Because there's been a lot. So yeah, Georgia not looking too good. And now Crimea is going to get taken. Interesting that it was from his head and not like from the bottom part because of the way, you know, yeah. And then these two uh, states, yep, I'm hearing a lot about. And then the invasion. Oh, wait, maybe not yet. Oh, are we doing... Is that Syria? Ukraine's just looking at a butterfly, meanwhile. And then here comes the Russians, moving on in. really loved the way this video was organized. That felt so fast that no point did it feel slow at all. Like we were constantly like, boom, boom, this happened, this happened, this happened. And I kind of love the fact that there's no narration. I love that. 
No more gas to Europe. Poland, Bulgaria, sad. Pretty sure Germany's pretty sad about that too. And there's there's where we're left off. So we're definitely gonna need an updated version to this video. I'm sure there were a handful of things I missed, but for the most part, I liked that like it was very clear what was going on. This comment highlights it perfectly. You're talking the Russian-Japanese War, uh, October Manifesto, WW1, the Russian Revolution. Oh, uh, that was Nikita Khrushchev time. I see. I think another reason why these videos are so great is because there's people all around the world that can watch them and generally see what's going on. There is no like narration in a certain language. There is English, obviously. We saw the English there, but for the most part, it's fine. Again, please go subscribe to Bulgarian Country Ball. I want to support as many great creators making this type of stuff as possible. And big thanks to my patrons. Isaac, I guess. Australia's Susius Chungus. Ashton Powers Faja. Hey, Susos, man. A uh, fat. My name is Joe Biden. I love fat being Joe nuts. Biden. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. Cowboys 83. Bring back Poland. Bornski W. Good old Raya. Raya. Drew's pet dog. Jakov. Bruni. Marco. Hendetta. Fresh. Animation. Rise. The Mexican. Why am I doing this? Endless. The Conqueror. 